Hi folks, it's Danny at Bradley James Classics and I'm bringing you something rather splendid today and obviously on first sight you're thinking am I looking at a several hundred thousand pound coveted uh, RS200 from Ford and you'll not be blamed for being hoodwinked into thinking that this is in fact such a car because it really is remarkably similar, remarkably similar. But it is a recreation. Um, great number plate. It's actually a 2005 Mazda MR2 underneath this splendid kit. But let's talk about the, the RS200 resemblance first, then we'll talk about the Mazda bit. So, just as we start, this car really is very, very imposing. It is virtually impossible to go anywhere without uh, people running over with their phones to say, wow, I've seen an RS200. Um, it looks fantastic. And because of its under underpinnings, which I'm gonna go on to discuss in a minute, it drives especially well. And there's so much scope to do additional work if you really have got the need for speed but looking at the car as I am now it does look absolutely fantastic I mean the RS200 is a car which is always going to go down in history as something very very special and sadly affordable examples don't exist any longer and for that reason you'll find them used as investments car collections museums etc whereas something like this gives you an absolutely feel-good feeling when you drive it it looks absolutely wonderful sat there in your garage and considering the cost of this is probably about 5% of the cost of the real car um, it does represent quite good value for money now this one was expertly built having had a communication with the builder um, I'm delighted to say that this is a very nicely put together recreation and there isn't really a bad angle a lot of effort has been put into making this look like the, the the rally car rather than the road going RS200 with some obvious colorful additions and that array of lights across the front and that number plate. So number plate is a little bit like C200 HP, but it's called C20. Um, it's a brilliant looking number plate, adds to a bit of authenticity, is it or isn't it? And when you get in close and just see how striking this car is, bodywork is in excellent condition, it's got fantastic paint, it's got really good graphics, these are great wheels, fantastic tyres all around, it handles really well. I'm going to jump into the um, fact of it being a, a Mazda in a minute underneath, but it really does look wonderful from all angles. This is a car that you can polish and feel very proud of. And the uniqueness of how these cars are built, it, it isn't a kit car in the sense that it's actually an MR2 from the mid 2000s which is in itself is a capable little sports car. The body gets cut off, a fitting kit gets added to that body, and then on goes this bespoke kit. And then even from the kit, there are some additions which get added to it, like the ability to add these spot lamps makes it look absolutely epic, and they all work. Um, I think I'd be tempted to colour code this bit here so it was white because it looks like a well, it's got panda eyes with those black bits on but I'm being critical now and as you can see there's a there's a hinge here I've got some of these brackets here and forward K 
comes the um, bonnet. Similar thing at the back, this one's been built so I can undo a couple of pins here and there's the engine in the back and then this whole clam lifts up and it looks really smart and then you get very easy access to the engine. So very 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 good looking car, an absolute hoot to drive and this is where I think we should start talking about the Mazda underpinnings. So the Mazda itself, which is a 2005 Mazda MR2 Roadster, um, they're a proper little sports car. Um, in the way that the little MX-5 was a fantastic handling proper sports car, I think the MR2 Roadster is a brilliant capable little sports car too rear wheel drive, six speed manual gearbox, limited slip diff, double wishbone suspension. So it handles well, it goes well. 138 brake horsepower uh, from the engine uh, in what was always a very lightweight car. In fact, arguably taking off a metal body and re replacing it with a fiberglass body, I'm sure the power to weight ratio is pretty superb as an RS200 recreation. Now, um, this car comes with um, a full set of manuals from back when it was a, um, a Toyota. And it's really super smart inside. And hopefully those couple of laps I've just given you, have given you an idea of just how nice and well put together and authentic looking this car is in fact if you park the two next to each other the proportions they've got it absolutely spot on this doesn't look like a flimsy kit car this is the real deal so because of the nature of the way this car's been built you've got all of this um great fit out so they put a full badge in the middle but the sp steering wheel's really sporty it's a great dashboard You've got a great headlining and you've got a rear glass in here. You've got some cubby holes behind you. You've got some lovely, comfortable seats. And actually, as a, an interior, um, it's super smart. These sort of silvery dials, um, all the correct instrumentation, and it fits in here really well. Of course it is, because we're actually sat inside now um, the Mazda with the full body popped on top. So none of this looks as if it's been thrown together. This is the real car inside. Um, somebody's fitted a very decent um, Bluetooth Pioneer stereo with a USB port, so good sounds, all the speakers are here. You get a couple of uh, Toyota keys uh, with central locking, the alarm all works, here they are. And overall, this is a very, very nice car which has got all of the benefits of the legendary reliability of the Toyota. And as you can see, she sounds lovely. And infinitely upgradable. As I say, there's uh, lots of engine choices. This one happens to be the 1.8 variable valve timing. They're a twin cam engine and 138 brake horsepower of a little lightweight roadster car. They handle very, very nicely and you'll be very happy with the way this goes. Well, I'm gonna jump, oh, and by the way, I think I mentioned to you, there's all the books. Um, a lot of information there from the Toyota days and here's the um, keys. Now I've been going on about a Mazda MX-5 earlier. Oh, I may have called this car a Mazda a few times. I'm terribly sorry. I obviously mean Toyota. Just when I was going on about MX-5s and making a comparison. And of course the MR2 is a car from a Toyota and the MX-5 is a, is a little Mazda. So let's have a little final look around this wonderful RS200 recreation. You can imagine how much fun this is to drive. It looks a million dollars. I'm really, really delighted on just how nice this car looks and how well it drives. It's great that you can just lift up the clam 
and get at the engine. Same with the front. Obviously, it's not a car that's going to have oodles of storage space, but that's absolutely not what you're buying, buying it for. This looks as if it's worth a small fortune and deserves a place in a historic museum for motorsport. And you get that look at a bargain price. Um, this is a very, very fun car. I do not anticipate this one being in stock very long. So if you're interested in this car, please get in touch, send us a message, make a call, send us an email, come and have a look at this fantastic car while we still have it. Well, that's a very excited Danny at Bradley James Classic signing out, folks. Thank you for walking around this wonderful Ford RS200 recreation with me. Thank you.